Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Liz and in today's video I'm going to share with you some fall DIYs. We're kicking off fall with some really fun DIYs. I absolutely love the way that all of these turned out. Fall is my absolute favorite season to DIY and decorate for so I had a lot of fun with today's DIYs. Thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. Let's go ahead and jump into the DIYs. For this DIY I'm going to start out with this wooden sign that I actually picked up from Goodwill, but I'm pretty sure that it came from Joann's. I paid maybe three dollars for a pack of three of these, so this cost me a dollar. And then I'm just going to stain the entire thing with my Waverly Wax and Antique. I didn't stain the inside back portion, just because that is going to be covered up with paper anyways, so that wasn't a big deal. But I did just use a baby wipe to remove any excess of the wax and give it that stained look. I also took some wood letters that I had and got enough to spell out the word harvest and then I just stained those as well. So in design space, I am going to do a couple of things. First, I'm going to grab some squares and I'm going to size them to the size of the inside of my sign. So I'm going to take two rectangles, actually, is what they're going to be. And I made the first one, the biggest one is the actual size of the inside of my frame. And then the middle one is what I am also going to use to cut out as kind of like a secondary frame piece. You'll see it all come together in just a minute, but I'm going to get the words hello harvest in there. I'm not going to cut out the word harvest just because I already have those. I'm going to find some cute pumpkins and then I'm just going to start sizing everything. And doing this is going to allow me to size everything to what it needs to be. Once everything is sized to the correct size, I'm just going to go through and change the colors of all of my layers so that they will all cut out individually because all four of these pieces will be different. Today I'm going to be using the Cricut Maker and I'm really excited because I got a fun projects for you guys, not only vinyl but other material as well that the Cricut Maker can cut. So I'm going to start off by cutting out my pumpkins first, just using some orange vinyl from Cricut and then I'll move on to my words which I chose a darker blue for and then I'm gonna take some scrapbook paper that I got in a pack from Michaels and I'm gonna put that in my Cricut. You want to make sure that you're choosing the right settings when you're cutting different materials so don't forget to go back and change the material settings so I'm just gonna cut out my cardstock for both the back layer and the top layer, which is just going to be white. And I just do all of my cardstock and vinyl on the blue mat. That's just what works for me. Then I'm going to go through and weed out my vinyl decals. And then I'm going to take my cardstock and I'm just going to use a glue stick to attach these together. Just put some on the back of the white cardstock and apply it to my plaid cardstock, which I think the colors on this is super, super pretty. And then I'm just going to, again, use some more glue stick to apply the cardstock to the inside of the sign. And then I'm just going to use some Cricut tools to help me get my paper nice and stuck down to the sign. Once that is all done, I am going to take my wooden letters and I'm going to start attaching it to my sign. Now, I started off using some super glue and that just didn't really work out. It kept having glue seeping from under it and I didn't want it to you to be able to see that on the paper. So in the end, I just went with the glue stick and that actually worked really well. You could probably find a much stronger glue that isn't going to seep through, but this is what I had on hand. This is what worked for me. And I just glued down all of my letters. After those are done, I am going to put my hello word on there, just using the Cricut transfer tape and applying that to my sign. Once that's applied, I'll apply my pumpkins. And that'll be it for this DIY. This one is my absolute favorite. I'm loving the plaid and the colors. And, the you know, you got your wooden words and then you got your vinyl. I just think it's really fun. So this is how this one turned out. Now 
For this next one, I grabbed this sign from the Target dollar spot several years ago. It's been sitting in my stash, so today I finally decided to get it out and use it. I'm just going to start taking it all apart, removing all the twine and the staples. And then I did take it out to my garage and cut two of the pieces down so that they would be smaller than the middle piece. And I'm just going to use some super glue to attach all three of these planks together. And then I'm going to paint this with my Dixie Belle paint. I will have the name of it in my description box because I cannot remember it at the moment. <laughs> but if you want to know what color it is, I'll have it in the description box. And I just did two coats of this Dixie Belle paint. And then I headed over to my design space and I am going to take a square and measure it to the size of my sign. This is just going to help me to size my words to the correct size and as well as the pumpkins that I'm going to use. So I just started out by putting in Hello Fall and then I found several pumpkins that I liked. I just went and scrolled through, found some that I thought could work and then I'm going to insert those into my project and then because some of the pumpkins aren't solid I'm going to click the contour button and go through and make it so that they are just a solid outline of the pumpkin instead of having all the cuts in the middle and I'm going to size my pumpkins down figure out where I want them what pumpkins I want in what order all that good stuff. Once that is all done, I'm going to change the colors so that each piece cuts on the correct mat. And I'm going to head over to my Cricut to cut these out. So for my pumpkins, I'm actually going to be using felt. And I got this pack of felt off of Amazon. I thought this was super pretty because of all the fall colors. And so I just went through and picked some colors that I liked for my pumpkins. A yellow and these pretty oranges and burnt oranges. I just thought they were gorgeous. And I'm going to switch out my blade to the rotary blade for my Cricut Maker. And then I'm going to use a fabric mat with my felt and I'm just going to cut that. So again, make sure that your settings on Design Space are all the correct ones with the felt and which tool you're using. This just completely changed the game for me with cutting fabrics. I cannot cut fabrics by myself at all and <laughs> look how cute these pumpkins turned out they are perfect so being able to use my Cricut for projects like this is a huge time saver because my pumpkins actually look like pumpkins instead of if I was freehanding it they'd probably just look like blobs <laughs> so I'm just gonna go through and stick my vinyl down where I want it And then I'm going to take some white twine and some beads and I'm going to string six beads onto that twine. And then I'm going to start by taking my middle pumpkin and just hot gluing that down right in the center over the twine. And then I'm just going to start adding all my other pumpkins. I'll tie off the ends so that the twine and the beads are all stuck in place and I'll hot glue those down. And then I hot glue my pumpkins on top of the twine and that's it. That's all you have to do for this DIY. You'll cut off the excess twine on the sides. I think this turned out super, super adorable and I love that it's got the felt and the vinyl and the beads. There's just so many different elements to it and I'm loving it. This one is going to be super easy. You're going to take one of these piggy banks from the Dollar Tree. I used a razor blade to scrape off the words from the glass. 
Once that was all cleaned off, I'm just going to take my mineral chalk paint from Waverly and I'm going to paint the frame and give it two coats. I'll also use a detail brush to get right up next to the glass so that that is all nice and painted because the glass in this was hot glued down and I was too afraid to try to take it out. I didn't want it to end up breaking so I just took a detailed brush and got right up close to that glass. I'm going to head over to my Cricut Design space. I am going to type in fall and they had so many fun fall designs. I found this welcome fall and I just made it all black because I want it to all be the same vinyl. I'm going to size it to the size that I want, attach it all together, and then I'm going to make sure that I have the correct material selected. I'm going to do a foil which is super fun and really really pretty. So once I've got my material selected, I'm going to cut that out and here it is. I thought that this was so much fun. This is just a Cricut adhesive foil that is just gorgeous and I thought would look really, really pretty with this piece. So I'm just going to go through and weed it all out. It is a little bit more difficult than your typical vinyl to weed just because it is a lot thicker but I thought that this just turned out really, really pretty. So after I've got my vinyl all weeded, I'm gonna take some more of this cardstock and I found this really pretty stripe pattern and all the colors on it was just gorgeous. So I just traced it to the size of the back of the piggy bank and I'm gonna cut that out. I'm gonna use a glue stick to attach it to the back of the piggy bank and put that down on there. And then I'm gonna transfer my foil decal over to the top of the glass of the piggy bank. I just centered it as best as I could and scraped it on there and removed the transfer tape. And look how beautiful this is. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous and was super, super easy to do. I didn't have to do any designing was an already designed image so this really took me only a couple of minutes and then I filled the inside with two packs of these mini pine cones and mini pumpkins from the Dollar Tree put the back back on and that is it for this DIY I think this looks so cute I love the foil decal on the front I am so excited to display this one in my home Now for this DIY, I wanted to try something a little different than all of my typical, you know, signs and uh, decor pieces like that. So I wanted to create a garland or a banner and I just found some leaves on Cricut Design Space that I liked. I put them to the size that I wanted and then I also put 10 of each leaf in a color, if that makes sense. So, so there, there will be 10 of each style of leaf. So just find three leaves that you like, get them to the size that you want. I believe I made them three inches tall for each one. And then I just messed around with this placement on my mats for when I cut them with my felt. So again, I'm gonna make sure that I have felt and my rotary blade in place. I cut all those out using the felt that I showed earlier with all these really pretty fall colors. And then I am gonna start using my crocodile tool to punch holes in the tops of my leaves. So that's what I'm gonna do to be able to string those leaves onto my twine. And you probably could have done this with your Cricut as well, but I just figured it would probably be quicker if I just punched the holes myself instead of having the Cricut go through all 30 of them one by one. So I just went through again, did two holes in each piece and then I began stringing my leaves onto my twine. And I just did a pattern of certain colors and certain leaves, made sure that they were all facing the same direction as well. For all of my leaves, except for my maple leaves, I did add some glue at the top and pinch it together. So it gave it, you know, more of that enclosed leaf look. <laughs> You can see what I'm doing here. So I just did that to all of them besides the maple leaves. Music 
You could make this really, really full by adding a ton of these leaves on here, or you could add some beads onto the garland as well. I think that would be really cute. I just think that this was so much fun, and it's a project that I feel like is outside the box when it's coming to Cricut. I know for me, a lot of times when I think of Cricut, I just think of signs, but there are so many other things that you can do besides just vinyl and signs, other materials that you can use, and I just thought that this one was really, really fun. I'm just going to tie a knot on both of the ends to tie it off and this is how my little leaf garland turned out. I love all the colors on this and I just think it's so much fun for fall. I think it'd be really cute hanging up over your mantle or really wherever. I love this one. For this DIY, I grabbed a square sign from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to mix a couple of my Dixie Belle paints together, and then I'm going to give the entire thing a good coat and a half of paint. Again, I did not paint the inside of the back because it is going to be covered up with some cardstock, so I wasn't too worried about that one. And then I'm going to take some faux leather that I got from Cricut. This stuff is super, super pretty. And I'm loving the way that this project turned out because of the leather. I just love the texture that it gives. So I'm going to put this down on my mat face down on a standard grip. I just used the maple leaf that I had from the previous project. I just sized it to how big I wanted it and then cut it out. Now I'm going to take some more cardstock from a pack that I got from Michael's. I'm going to cut that down to size using the back of the sign as a guide and then I just kind of trimmed it down as needed till it fit inside. And then I'm just going to use a glue stick, put that right inside and then also use a glue stick to attach the leather leaf to the middle of my sign. You could obviously use a different adhesive that would probably work a lot better, something you know, some sort of fabric adhesive. I didn't have anything like that on hand, so I just used my glue stick and this is working perfect so far. So I'm just gonna put that right in the middle of my sign. And then I felt like it was still missing something. So I took some twine and some beads and I just put the beads on the twine until I got the amount that I liked. I ended up tying several double knots to each end and then I just hot glued this to the top of my sign as like a little handle and I thought that this turned out super super cute. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. <laughs> 